gotcha. So why do we simplify numeric expressions? Why, why are we doing all this stuff? Who, who cares, right? Um, well, I care. That's a big important one. Why do we simplify expressions? Ladies and gentlemen, one of the funniest things uh, my, one of my college professors told me was, mathematicians are lazy. Okay, we want to do things in the simplest possible way. And even though you might say, well, I'm pretty sure when you multiply a trinomial times a trinomial, that's not very fun. Or when you try to find the eigenvalues of a matrix, and there's tons of million other things you can do, but those things ain't fun, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this stuff is just clutter, right? Let's, let's get rid of this stuff and declutter everything and just keep it very simple and clean. All right, because we don't want to be dealing with all these extra numbers if we don't have to. We want to be lazy and just let's just get that stuff done and then we can have much easier problems to work with. So 4 squared um, or 4 raised to the second exponent, second power, is 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay, this is much more. 16 is much more simpler than 4 squared. It's one number, right? It's much easier for us to move or to do anything else with. Here, I'm going to have to use my order of operations or my PEMDAS, which I've previously spoken about. So here, I'm going to have to use the inside parentheses first. 7 times 3 is 21. Now, I can drop the parentheses and just do 21 uh, minus 4, which is 17. And then now I can multiply 2 times 17, which equals 34. So you can see when you have a numeric expression, we want to simplify it as much as possible. So rather than writing all this, if I notice that I can simplify this, I can reduce it down to smaller terms, then get it down to 34. Okay? There's no point in just sitting there and just leaving all that stuff. That's, that's going to make everything that you're trying to do confusing. When you have an opportunity to simplify, simplify. Um, and actually, even one of my greatest uh, you know, values, uh, well, that'll, that'll be a different, different video. Here's another example. Um, here, I, inside my square root, it's, it's actually another power, all right, um, when you're thinking about the order of operations. But you're going to have to evaluate inside the square root. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put these in parentheses to help us out. So I have 9 square root 5 squared, which is 25 minus 9. Still, inside my parentheses, I'm going to subtract, oops, divide by 3. So I have 9 subtract equals 16, now divide by 3. And remember, what I talked about roots, square roots, is just a different type of exponent, which we'll learn later. Square root of 16, which is going to be 4. 9 times 4, which gives us, square root of 16, 9 times 4, which gives us 36. So then I have 36 divided by 3. And a lot of students just want to leave like that. They're like, oh, I'm done. I'm good. But let's still simplify this. 36, does 3 go into 36? Yeah, 3 goes into 36 12 times. Does that show down there? No, it doesn't. So the answer equals 12. Sorry, I didn't go down to all the way down to my thing. So it ends up equaling 12 for you. So that is why we simplify numeric expressions. We don't want to deal with all that stuff.